in an urban campus, it is very special to have a botanical garden right on the edge. We want an appreciation of open space and an appreciation of diversity. The garden's really important for getting a conservation message across. To promote conservation, people need to understand what they're conserving. I think the most important mission of the Botanical Garden is educating our students. We teach several thousand students a year going through the Botanical Garden. The biology departments, atmospheric sciences uses it, courses in art use it. Geology, urban planning. The garden here at UCLA forms a really integral part of the campus. We've got ferns, we've got palms, we've got desert plants. And people appreciate that when they come, appreciate that diversity. So many different plant species here. We will be able to study and answer many questions here in the garden. What we're doing is we're doing different experiments to check um, how it's uptaking carbon dioxide. We kind of combine that data in order to understand why this plant is so shade or drought tolerant. There's so many fundamental questions, like we don't know, for example, where water evaporates from in the leaf. How can we not know that? But it like measures so I study water movement through leaves. What I do in the garden most often is collecting shoots, and then we bring those back to the lab so we can measure the actual flow of water through that leaf. Leaves are so different. Some are really small, some are really big, and so we have like some hypothesis of why, but it's still, we're, we still don't understand that. And so a lot of our work focuses on understanding the purpose of this diversity. The first time I came to the garden was shortly after my arrival. I decided immediately this is a special place. We really like to think of this as a place of respite for the campus community. We also welcome our neighbors in both the surrounding area but throughout Los Angeles. The garden really represents uh, a lot of the spirit of Mildred Mathias. In a sense, we're trying to make Mildred's dream come true here. I went on a trip that Mildred Mathias led. We hiked around muddy jungle paths in the rain and saw a lot of flora and fauna. She was a wonderful person. It was a very enlightening experience for me. She was a pioneer. I think that Mildred really wanted our students to get exposure to plants, to conservation, to environmental issues, and she would be pleased to see that it's playing that role on campus. We want to make the garden the kind of garden that Mildred really wanted it to be. We need to start uh, doing improvement. We want to make the garden visible and accessible to a much broader range of the general population. I think in doing so, what's now a hidden gem is going to be part of the signature of the campus. The garden has more than 3,000 species of plants in it. How amazing it is in nature that that many plant species can exist. It's just fascinating how little we know, but how fast we're getting to understand them better.